How's it going everyone? I wanted to take a minute today to do a review on this boot. This is the Mammut Nordwand 6000 High. So this is a brand new boot for Mammut this year. It replaced their uh, previous model, the uh, Nordwand 2.1. And this is a uh, 6000 meter rated Super Gator boot. And that puts it in competition with boots like the La Sportiva G2SM and the uh, Scarpa Phantom 6000. This is the lightest uh, of those three boots. Comes in at 990 grams per boot, and that puts it uh, just a few grams lighter than the Scarpa, but a decent amount lighter than the La Sportiva. So I actually got this boot in the mail yesterday, and um, I'm really happy with the fit right out of the box. I will say, however, that I find Mamu boots to run just a hair on the large size. Um, for instance, I've been wearing uh, Solomon hiking boots for years and I wear uh, pretty consistently a size 9.5 in Solomon and last year I wore a Mammut hiking boot and I had to go down to a size 9. So that's what I ended up getting in this boot is a size 9 US and I'm really happy with the fit. There's just a, a tiny bit of room at the toe for me. Uh, but it's it's not enough to be moving around when I'm kicking uh, in the boot. I, I think it's just the perfect amount. You don't want to be too tight in a boot like this. Uh, in my experience, you, your foot's going to get rather cold if you're stuffed in a boot in cold weather. Um, like I said, got it yesterday, and I, I took it out today. I did several ice climbs and a mixed climb with it, and I was really happy with the performance. Compared to uh, the boots that I've been ice climbing in, I have an old pair of um, Solomon ice climbing boots. They haven't made them for, for well before I started ice climbing. And um, I have a uh, plastic, the Scarpa Inverno. So, so this boot is, is quite a bit lighter than both of those. And that's really the big difference that I feel right away is the, uh, the lightness. Uh, it feels really nimble on my foot, especially when mixed climbing and, and kind of searching for those little nooks and crannies with your cramp on. And, and so that, that was a really big um, improvement for sure. The, uh, the other thing that, again, I can't say uh, for sure yet, but I, I have a feeling that it's going to be a very warm boot. It was, um, it, it was maybe in the, in the teens when I got out this morning, but then it climbed into uh, into the mid 20s. So your foot's not really going to get that cold, anyways. But at at times, my my foot was bordering on too warm in this boot, which for me is a really good sign. Uh, so the big thing that um, I'm looking for when I, I look at a boot like this is uh, just the overall functionality of it. And it, you know, again, it's gonna be it's gonna be very similar to those other boots. Uh, everyone knows the the Scarpas and the La Sportivas, um, but you have a wrap around zipper, comes all the way down, and then you can peel down the gaiter, and you have a boa lacing system. Which, you know, ten years ago maybe it could. Uh, and we all remember when the boa came out on snowboard boots and you know it your buddy had a pair that broke after wearing it for two weeks but um i think we can all trust the boa system now um and it, it really in my use today uh probably because it was a brand new boot i uh, had to tighten it a few times and it's super easy to tighten this boot you just zip it up zip it down real quick uh, click it in, give it a few cranks, and it's just perfect. So I, I uh, really like the bow system on a boot like this. Now, another selling point of a boot like this is that it has a removable liner, and that's gonna be really killer on overnight trips, just because you can, you can pop the liner out, bring it into the tent with you, bring it into your sleeping bag with you, uh, give your, your liner a, a chance to dry out a little bit and stay warm. That way you're not putting on uh, frozen boots in the morning. That sucks. So here, here's a close up of the liner. And you can see the upper cuff is made out of this knit material that 
Mammut has used on, on several of their hiking boots before. And, and I can say I, I wasn't really stoked uh, with this as a hiking boot, but I think it makes a really killer material for this, this liner. Um, and then, you know, you got a, a little bit of a, a slightly more durable base on that. I wouldn't go uh, walking around with this liner though. I always, uh, I've, I've gotten that question before from people like talking about like ski boot liners or something. You say, oh, I'd pop them out and, and walk around and it's like, it's not really made for that. Uh, I wouldn't do that, but. <laughs> and uh, so that's the liner. Really good fit on that. Uh, popping it out, trying it on it. it it's, it's really nice. Um, and this is the, this is the shell. There's really not too much to see there. It's kind of got a, um, a, a tongue system with, it's kind of gusseted here and it's a little stiffer in the center and on the sides and you know, you tighten that all up and you get the rigidity that you're looking for. And you can adjust that pretty readily with the, um, with the BOA system. Maybe if you're doing like a long hike in a, a, an approach to a cliff, you can have it a little bit looser and then when you get to the cliff, you pop it in and crank crank for, um, for your climbs. Um, so one of the uh, big, like I said, brand new boot, taking it out once. Uh, one of the things that stands out to me on this boot is the gator material feels pretty soft. So I'm gonna be looking to see how that holds up over time. Um, as, as well as some of the rubber material. It's not, it's a little, it's kind of tackier. It's not soft per se, but it's a little tackier than, than some of the other uh, similar boots that I've felt. Um, one of the things that I maybe wasn't thrilled about right away, but it, it hasn't really seemed to be a problem, is the crampon attachments. As you can see in the toe, it's a, it's a pretty small surface area for, you know, your, your front, the piece of your crampon in the front to grab onto. And in the back, it's pretty standard, but it actually has this midsole material that it, I mean, it's incredibly stiff. If you had that on a hiking boot, you would hate yourself. Uh, but for a crampon compatible boot, when you really like get your crampon on there, it, it actually compresses it just the slightest bit. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that and, um, and seeing how that holds up over time. I actually had, I have an old pair of uh, Petzl darts uh, with, with the heel spur on it. And they, they just, doesn't matter how long you made them, they just would not fit on this um, boot properly. And I'm, I'm not really too heartbroken about that because, um, you know, you gotta upgrade anyways. So I ended up having to go out with um, a pair of uh, Gravel G14s. And, and they worked uh, fine, but again, it was, it, uh, it was just a little interesting looking at it and it had a really minimal contact surface compared to what I get in like, say in the, uh, the Scarpa Infernos. Um, it's kind of hard to, to get a look at it, but I mean, they definitely, it definitely grabs but it, it just seems rather minimal. So I'm looking to get a, uh, a brand new pair of Petzl darts and we'll see how those go. But for first impressions, uh, I've, been, I've been very happy with it. Again, this was a huge upgrade for me, so it was, it was amazing doing uh, especially some uh, mixed climbing with this today. Really enjoyed it. Um, very preliminary review, but there's really nothing out there on this boot. And uh, so I wanted to get something there just so people can kind of see what it looks like uh, in the hand and, and see, how the, um, see how the liner comes out and what, that, uh, what that's all about. I, um, I plan on doing another review on this boot uh, at the close of the uh, winter climbing season and uh, we'll see how it holds up. So thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll see you on the hill.